Hey YouTube, today we're going to be exploring the optical properties of the Unity Fast 4X mount and the T2. Uh, this is Unity's uh, integrated mount magnifier system. It has a center line from top of rail uh, to center of optic of 2.26 inches, as does uh, most of their fast system. And as seen here, this weighs in at 18.2 ounces. So it's pretty lightweight. Um, the glass in this unit does come from Korea. A lot of people have questions about uh, is it is it crisp? Is it uh, sharp? You know, how does it compare with the EOTech and Aimpoint offerings, uh, as, well, as well as the Vortex, Trigicon, uh, all the other magnifier offerings? So today I kind of wanted to uh, explore the optical properties of it. We have our targets downrange. They're two thirds Ipsic steel. The one in the middle is painted black, and the two on the left and right are painted white, as you can see. And they're uh, three meters apart down there. We're at about, uh, normally we're at 100 yards, but uh, today we're at about 108, 110 yards, uh, doing, owing to the uh, sunlight. Tried to get us in some shade here. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look through this optic system. Bear with me while I line things up. As you can see, very flat, very crisp. Little bit of parallax on our dot, but not much. I find this image to be exceptional for a dot and magnifier. Eye box is a little touchy, not bad. Trying to get us to focus here. Anyway, not bad image quality at all. How does that compare to a low power variable? Here we have an NX8 with the FC DMX reticle and with the Acro P2 as well as uh, I believe it's a Rampage Defense battery cap and I really like this battery cap because it has a insert that allows you to run it without the extra battery being present and that's pretty cool. It's made of anodized aluminum and fits beautifully. Highly recommended if you're looking for onboard CR2032 storage for your T2 or your P2. And as you can see, it's got a pretty decent little form factor. Makes it where you can change the battery without a tool uh, to slot in there. It's kind of nice. Anyway, let's check out the NX8. I've got it set to four power. Looks like we've migrated off target a little bit. Forgive me, I'll put it back on. Give me a second. There we are. There's a slight bit of parallax with this optic also.
The eye boxes are roughly comparable. Both are a little touchy. Trying to display that parallax for you. Overall, that's a pretty good image. Bright, good detail. Let's go back to our magnifier setup. Also very good image quality. Overall, both of these optics serve their own purposes and the weight delta between them is uh, it's about nine ounces. And both of them allow passive aiming. Both of them allow true one power. And this one gives you four power. And this one gives you eight power or one power or anything in between as well as the ability to passive aim with the top dot. So, whichever you pick, whatever works best for you, I hope this optical comparison has given you a little bit of food for thought, given you a accurate representation of the glass in these two, and uh, to be quite blunt, I'm very impressed with this Unity magnifier. I'm gonna... gonna have to say that it... Um, Definitely has surprised me. It surpassed my expectation for glass clarity and image fidelity. Give me a second. I'm trying to line it back up for you on target. I bumped it. All right. One more good look through there. That's some really good glass for a magnifier. One more look through our NX-8. I know that's a little bit of a more long-winded, uh, tedious review. I've certainly had a fun time trying to hold this camera uh, behind each optic and give you an idea of how they perform, but I hope you found it informative. And like I say, I make these reviews um, so that people can, uh, I guess, uh, lack of a better term, kind of test drive the gear with me before they buy it. Um, you know, I, I want you to be able to buy something and have an idea of what it's going to look like to the best of my ability to share through YouTube uh, before you shell out those hard-earned dollars. And as always, you'll be safe. Go out there and shoot stuff responsibly.